So our lesson in this session is all about pre-calculus, straight line. Siyempre ang inyong uh, tutor, Julius. Uh, ito yung full name ni Sir Dan. Now, sisimulan na natin ang ating lesson regarding about the straight line. So we have now the straight line. Unang topic natin sa ating pre-calculus. So let me enumerate first all the formulas na kakailanganin natin abang tinatakil natin ang straight line. First formula, AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. Followed by the two-point form formula. At ito ang Y minus Y sub 1 equal Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1 times X minus X sub 1. Yan ang ating formula na two-point form. And for the third one, we have the point slope form. At ang formula natin, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So let me edit yung formula natin. So skip lang ng konti. Edit natin ito. This is only x minus x sub 1. So correct natin ano, para uh, hindi nakakalito. At saka tama talaga yung formula na nakasulat. Yeah, so we have now the point slope form. Coming up next, we have the slope intercept form. Ang formula na ating ginagamit sa slope intercept form is actually this one. Y is equal to mx plus b. And then for the other one, we have now the intercept form. Ang formula na ating ginagamit sa intercept form is x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng mga sumusunod, m, ito yung ating slope. b stands for y-intercept, a stands for x-intercept. x sub 1 and y sub 1 are the coordinates of point P sub 1. X sub 2 and Y sub 2 are the coordinates of point P sub 2. Kapag kasi nagbigay ako ng dalawang point, definitely mayroon tayong point 1 and point 2. Na kung saan kapag kinonect natin ang dalawang points, makakabuo tayo ng isang straight line. Nakakasunod ba, Julius Anak, sa mga formula na aking inintroduce? Opa, sir. So, lahat ang yan gagamitin natin later. Now, may kasunod pa yan. Maliban sa mga formula na yan, ang ating straight line from general form, two-point form, hanggang intercept form, meron din tayong tinatawag na slope formula. At ang ating slope formula is actually this one. M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Now, ito ito yung ibang mga kondisyon na maaari nating uh, makita kapag nakakalculate tayo ng slope. Maaaring makakuha tayo ng positive value ng slope or negative value o kaya naman ay zero. Minsan naman is undefined. Kapag ang value ng slope is negative, ang direksyon ng ating line sa sketch of the graph is actually downward to the right. So, basahin ko siya. If M value is negative, the direction of the line is downward to the right. So, ganyan lang ugis ng ating line. Ganyan lang direction. Downward to the right. Now, paano naman kapag ang slope value natin is positive? If M value is positive, the direction of the line is upward to the right. Pakyat, papuntang kanan. Yan. 
So definitely, ang graph na mabubuo natin is a line upward to the right. Kapag nag-plot tayo ng mga points and then kinunek natin ng mga points, makakabuo tayo ng straight line na upward to the right. And if M value naman is zero, the line is horizontal. Bakit? Ang y sub 1 at ang y sub 2 equal lamang. And then, ang M value natin is magiging zero. Ang ibig sabihin nun, ang line na ating may sketch sa ating graph is horizontal. So, we have an horizontal line, a horizontal line sa ating sketch of the graph. Coming up next, if M value is undefined, kailan ba nagiging undefined ang value ng M? Kapag ang denominator ng ating fraction, kapag nag-compute tayo ng slope, is zero. The line then will be a vertical line. Kapag ang X sub 1 at ang X sub 2 equal. At ito ngayon ang value ng ating uh, slope, undefined wherein ang graph natin is a vertical line. Kahit hindi ka mag-calculate, sa pagpa-plot pa lamang ng mga points, alam na natin kung ano yung kaantungan ng ating slope value. Kung negative ba, kung positive, kung horizontal or vertical. Kapag nakaanap ka ng value ng slope na zero, ibig sabihin, ang sketch of the graph mo kailangan horizontal line. Kapag vertical line, ang value ng slope undefined. Kapag negative ang value ng slope, downward to the right. At kapag naman upward to the right, ibig sabihin ang value ng slope is positive. Malinaw ba anak ang aking pagkaka-explain? Klaro ba? Okay, sir. Okay, let us proceed to the next formula. Distance between two points, formulas. Bakit formulas? Kasi... Maliban sa ating formula na usually ang ginagamit, mayroon pang dalawang formula akong ibibigay sa iyo. Ito yung una. D is equal to the square root of the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 plus the square of the difference of x sub 2 and x sub 1. So that will be the formula for our distance between two points formula. Notes. Alternative formulas may meron tayo. Kapag ang value ng x sub 2 at ang x sub 1 na mga coordinates, okay, na mga absisa ng bawat coordinate or ng bawat point natin ay equal, or I repeat, if x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1, ang formula ng pag-aanap ng distance between two points maliban sa formula na aking in-introduce kanina, maaari din natin gamitin ito. D is equal to the absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Nagigets mo ba, anak? Opo, ang sir. Ang sabihin niyan, gamitin mo man yung formula na in-introduce ko kanina o kaya ito, pareho lang ang sagot na ating makukuha. Okay? Now, paano naman kapag ang mga ordinate naman ang equal? Ang mga ordinates natin sa dalawang coordinates na may meron tayo or dalawang points. If y sub 2 is equal to y sub 1, we can actually use this formula para maanap natin ang distance between two points. D is equal to the absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So, yan ang ating pangatlong formula sa ating distance between two points formulas. Now, since na-introduce ko na lahat ng kakailanganin natin when dealing with the straight line concept, nakapag-prepare ako ng, I think, six or seven problems for you to understand the concept completely. And then later, sa mga last part ng ating slide, Nag-prepare ako ng mga exercises na kailangan mong sagutin and then to be submitted on Friday. Abang tinutulungan kita sa iyong mga modules. Okay, so let's proceed. Ito yung unang alimbawa na aking uh, nakaprefer. 
para mas maintindihan mo yung straight line na Sample problem number one. Find the equation of the line passing through the following points. We have point one as our first coordinate or first point at ito yung mga coordinate natin. We have an abscissa of negative 3 and ordinate of negative 2. Yan ang ating P sub 1. I repeat, negative 3 will be our abscissa and negative 2 naman is our ordinate for our point P sub 1. <coughs> and then for the next one, for our P sub 2 or second point, ang mga coordinate natin, we have 1 and 5. 1 is our abscissa and 5 is our ordinate. Now, bago natin hanapin ang equation of the line passing through these two points, kailangan muna natin isketch ang ating graph. Una, lika muna tayo ng horizontal line representing our x-axis. And then, let us draw a vertical line representing our y-axis. And then, let us plot the points now. I think we need to start with P sub 2, having a coordinates of 1 and 5. If I'm going to plot 1 and 5, it is it. We have P sub 2, 1 and 5. And then point sub 1 or P sub 1, I think that's a quadrant 3. Kasi parehong negative ang ating mga coordinates. Negative ang abscissa, negative ang ating coordinates sa ating P sub 1. And then, let us now connect these two points so that we can form a straight line. Ang inaanap natin ngayon ay ang equation ng line na yan na ating na-sketch sa ating graph. Now, for our solution, let us start first having our givens. Yan ang ating mga given. Nakakasunod ba, anak? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, Opa, sir. for P sub 1, negative 3 and negative 2. Definitely dahil P sub 1 yan at yan ang ating point 1, ang value ng X sub 1 will be negative 3 at ang Y sub 1 naman will be negative 2. For our P sub 2, we have 1 and 5. Ang value ng ating X sub 2 will be 1 and then ang value ng ating Y sub 2 is equal to 5. So yan ang ating mga given. Since pinapaanap ang equation of the line at ang given sa ating problem ay dalawang points, sa palagay mo, anak, anong gagamitin nating formula kapag given dalawang point sa mga formula na aking na-introduce kanina? Ano nga po kasi yun, sir? Um, uh, kalimutan ko po. Ilan ba yung points natin? Two po. Okay. So, we have two, two point points. Two points formula. formula. So, yun ang ating gagamitin. Very good. So, for our solution, using two point form formula, syempre, isusulat ko muna ang ating formula para sa two point form. At yan yun. Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. To be multiplied by x minus x sub 1. Ang susunod na proseso na ating gagawin naman yan is direct substitution. Since given naman ang value ng x sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 1, and y sub 2. Okay. Take note of the signs. Kailangan natin maging careful. Iba ang negative sign or minus sign na nasa ating formula. Separate naman ang negative sign ng bawat given na may meron tayo. Okay, take note of that. Now, if we're going to apply direct substitution process, ang, ang y sub 1 may value that is negative 2. Ang x sub 1 may value negative 3. And then, ang x sub 2 may value na 1. Ang y sub 2 naman ay may value na 5. So, kung direct substitution tayo, magiging ganyan na ang ating equation. Ang y sub 1, pinalitan natin ng negative 2. Ang x sub 1, pinalitan natin ng negative 3. Okay? And then, ang y sub 2, napalitan ng 5. Ang x sub 2, napalitan ng 1. 
Now, performing the indicated operations in our given equation, simplifying it, we can have y plus 2. Bakit? Negative, negative is positive. Then dito rin, negative times negative, positive 2. Then pi plus 2 will be 7. Negative times negative 3 is positive 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. That is why we have 7 over 4. Time is x plus 3. Naintindihan ba ang flow ng ating calculation na lahat? Kung bakit siya nag-arrive yes, sa yes, sir. So let's proceed. Yes, po. Yan. So let us now multiply the entire equation by 4. Ano man ang nakikita nating denominator ng ating fraction, which is actually also our slope of the, the equation of the line, or ng slope ng ating line, which is 7 over 4, ano man ang denominator yan, yan ang magsisilbing multiplier natin sa kabuwa ng equation. Now, doing that, 4 times y is 4y. 4 times 2 is positive 8 equal. 7 over 4, 7 over 4 times 4, cancel lang parehong 4, matitira na lang ang 7. And then, mariretain ang x plus 3. And then, continuation, mariretain ang 4y plus 8 is equal sa left. And then, didisibit naman natin ang 7 sa bawat term ng x plus 3. Okay, let's proceed. So, we have now 4y plus 8 is equal to 7x plus 21. Now, equation of the line, kailangan na natin hanapin. Ang gagawin ko dito, I'm going to transpose all the terms from left to right. Ang 4y, lilipat ko sa right. Ang 8, ililipat ko sa right. Kapag naglipat tayo, nagtranspose tayo, or nagtransport tayo, lagi tayo nagpapalit ng sign. So what will happen then to our equation? 0 is equals to 7x plus 21 minus 4y minus 8. And then simplifying it, 7x minus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0 is the equation of the line. Nakakasunod ba kung paano naanap? ang ating equation of the line, anak. Opo, sir. Yan ang ating final answer sa ating equation sir. of the line. Yes, sir. question, anak. Yes. Kapag po itatranspose, magpapalit po siya ng sign. Yes, definitely. Okay, bakit naging 13? 21 minus 8 is positive 13. Okay? Nasusundan, nasusundan mo ba? Opo, sir. Okay, klaro, anak, ha? Okay, let's proceed. So, we have now our sample problem number two. Determine the x-intercept and y-intercept of the equation of the line 7x minus 4y plus 13. Kapag pinapaanap ang x-intercept at y-intercept ng isang equation of the line, definitely, ang x-intercept Ang katumbas niya is the vowel letter A. Yun ang symbol na ginagamit natin sa x-intercept. Letter A, small letter A. Kapag y-intercept is a small letter B. So A and B ang mga inaanap natin. Ibig sabihin dahil parehong intercept ang inaanap natin, kung i-convert natin ang equation of the line, i-convert natin yan sa okay, intercept form para maanap ang value ng A and B. So, yun ang ating diskarte. Nasusundan mo ba, anak? Hello? Opo, sir. Okay. Inaanap A and B, x-intercept and y-intercept. Nasa general form ang ating given equation. Ibig sabihin, para maanap ang A at ang B value, kailangan i-convert natin ang general form ng ating equation of the line into its intercept form. Okay, is that very clear? Convert natin from general form to intercept form ang ating equation of the line. And this is how we do that. Solution? Susulat ko muna ang equation. In order to transpose, or I mean, hindi transpose, no? in order to convert ang ating equation of the line from its general form to intercept form, ang unang akbang, kailangan 
transpose the constant term to the right hand side of the equation. Ano ba yung constant term na may meron tayo sa equation of the line natin? Ano ba yung constant term, anak, sa equation ng line natin? Sa 7x minus 4y plus 13? Ano ba yung constant natin na term na walang variable na kasama? 13 po. 13. So, ililipat natin ang 13 sa right-hand side ng equation. Kapag nag-transpose tayo, anong gagawin natin? Ano yung mapapalitan? Magiging negative po yung 13. Okay, definitely. So, ganyan yan. 7x minus 4y now is equal to negative 13. And the right after na nakapag-transpose na tayo ng constant term sa right-hand side, Ano man yung constant term na ating nakikita, yon ang magiging divisor natin sa kabuuan ng equation. Ang ibig sabihin dyan, divide the entire equation by negative 13. Kasi nga ang constant term na ating na-transpose sa right side is negative 13. So ito na rin ang number na ating pang divide sa kabuuan ng equation. If I'm going to do that, ang mangyayari sa ating equation na 7x minus 4y is equal to negative 13. Magiging 7x over negative 13 minus 4y over negative 13 equals negative 13 over negative 13. Nagets mo ba hanggang dyan, anak? Naintindihan mo ba dyan? Opo, sir. Okay, so let's Opo, proceed. Sa right-hand side, negative 13 over negative 13 can be simplified. That is just equal to positive 1. Sa second term na may minus 4y over negative 13, negative over negative is positive. Sa division kasi, kapag like sign, positive. So kung isisimplify natin yan, magiging ganito na ang equation natin. 7x over negative 13. Plus 4y over 13. Bakit positive 4y over 13? Kasi negative over negative is positive. Bakit naging 1 na lang ito? Negative 13 divided by negative 13 is simply equal to 1. 1. So, paano natin naalapin ngayon ang value ng a and b? Then, yan. Kuhanin lang natin ang reciprocal ng 7 over negative 13. So, isusulat natin yung 7 na numerator, yung coefficient ng ating numerator na 7x as a denominator of negative 13. So, magiging negative 13 over 7 yan. Yung 4 naman, magiging denominator ng ating number na denominator na 13. So, yung denominator natin magiging 13 over 4. So, yung dalawang yan, yung negative 13 over 7 at 13 over 4, yan ang dalawang hinaanap nating value ng a at b. But then, we have to compare it with our intercept form. Yung equation na yan na ating nakalkula, ikukumpara natin sa intercept form natin. Using intercept form, x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. Ang value ng a is actually negative 13 over 7. Ang value ng b is 13 over 4. So, ang ating mga sagot, negative 13 over 7 para sa x-intercept at ang ating namang b na ating y-intercept is equal to 13 over 4. Malinaw ba ang problem number 2, anak? Yes, sir. Malinaw. So, yan ang ating po. example problem number 2. So, let us now proceed to sample problem number 3. Determine y-intercept and slope of the equation of the line. 7x minus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0. Ipinapaanap ang y-intercept at ang slope. Ang y-intercept yan ang letterang B, small letter B. Ang slope of the equation of the line naman, yung small letter M na symbol na inaanap din natin. Now, for our solution, isusulat ko muna ang ating equation of the line. 7x minus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0. Dahil ang inaanap natin is y intercept and slope or b and m, ang unang pinupuntirian natin dito is yung term na may y. 
lagi nating nililipat kapag ang ating given equation of the line is galing lang general form. So, ibig sabihin dahil y intercept and slope, ang format ng equation na ating anapin muna para maanap ang y intercept at ang slope must be the slope intercept form. Kasi slope at y intercept ang inaanap natin. So, ang gagamitin natin is slope intercept form. In order to do that, kailangan i-transpose ang may y na term. Ililipat ko ang negative 4y sa right-hand side. Okay, if I'm going to do that, transpose negative 4y to the right-hand side of the equation, mag-change tayo ng sign. Ang negative 4y magiging positive 4y. Now, ano man yung coefficient na nakamultiply sir, ang sir, ating sir. y? Yes, anak? Bakit po negative 4y yung itatranspose, hindi po yung 13? No. It is always yung term na may y kapag nasa general form tayo. Una sa lahat, okay, ang given problem natin, ito anak, is nakasulat sa general form. Okay? Ang ginahanap natin is loop at saka y-intercept. B at saka M. A hindi ba ang gagamitin natin is slope intercept. Y is equal to MX plus B. Ito yung format na ating kailangang masundan. Kailangan ng equation na yan is may format natin ng ganito ang pagkakasulat. Y is equal to MX plus B. In order to do this, para matarget natin ang format na yan, ang unang kailangan nating ilipat ay ang negative 4y sa right-hand side. Did you get the concept, anak? Kung bakit ganyan ang ginawa ko? Yung okay, strategya sir. natin. So, ililipat ko yung negative 4y magiging positive 4y. And that's it. Now, in order to continue, i-divide ko ang kabuuan ng equation ngayon. Okay, inarrange ko lang, ha? Pinagpalitan ko lang ng posisyon. Pero pareho lang yan. I-divide ko ngayon ang kabuan ng equation sa 4. Para y na lang ang matira sa left-hand side ng equation natin. Divide the entire, the entire equation by 4. Ano man ang coefficient na nakamultiply kay y, yun ang pang-divide natin sa kabuan ng equation. Now, doing that, yan. Magiging ganyan na ang equation natin kasi kada term, i-divide natin ng 4. Kasi entire equation ang sabi, divide by 4. Ang 4y, i-divide ko ng 4. Ang 7s, i-divide ko ng 4. Ang 13, i-divide ko ng 4. So magiging ganyan na ang itsura ng ating equation. But 4y divide by 4 is simply equal to y. Tama? Kasi makakancel ang parehong 4. Cancel yan. So what will happen then? Magiging y is equal to 7 over 4 of x plus 13 over 4. Now, naka-slope intercept form na ang ating equation of the line. From general form, na-convert na into intercept form. Pwede na natin ngayon i-compare. By comparison, y is equal to mx plus b. Ang katapat ng m is 7 over 4. Ang katapat naman ng b, 13 over 4. Sa makatawid, ang value ng slope, 7 over 4, at ang value ng y-intercept is 13 over 4. Ito yung ating mga inahanap sa problem. Malilaw ba ang problem number 3, anak? Kung paano natin yes, na-solve ang M at ang B. Now, let us proceed to sample problem number 4. Sir, it, sir. Yes, sir. anak. Yes. Hmm. Pwede pong pakibalik po dun sa naunang slide. Dun po sa previous slide. Okay, yan. Ititignan lang po ako. Yes, sige. <coughs> okay na, na po, sir. Okay na po. Okay na? Wala okay, po. Clear so, na po. Okay na po. Okay, so let's proceed to the next slide. So, ito ngayon yung ating sample problem number four. Find the distance between two points. Ito rin yung nag-graph natin kanina eh. What if ito yung ating mga points? P1, 
P sub 1, we have negative 3 and negative 2. P sub 2, we have 1 and 5. As I mentioned earlier, kanina, ibibigay ko yung formula lang distance between two points. Okay? So, given natin, para sa ating P sub 1, we have negative 3 and negative 2. Meaning, X sub 1 is negative 3 and Y sub 1 is negative 2. For our second point, P sub 2, we have 1 and 5. X sub 2 is 1, y sub 2 is equal to 5. At ito yung ating formula. Kapag ginanap natin ang distance between two points. Now, by direct substitution, meron na tayong y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, and, and, and x sub 1 value. So, direct substitution na lang. Maari na natin kalkulayin ngayon ang value ng ating distance between two points. Okay? We have now d is equal to the square root of the square of 5 minus negative 2 plus the square of 1 minus negative 3. Okay, simplifying it, 5 minus minus 2, we have 5 plus 2, tama? And then 1 minus minus 3, we have 1 plus 3. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 3 is 4. Again, square natin ng 7, square natin ng 4. We have 49 plus 4, square root. And finally, ang ating sagot, D is equal to the square root of 53 units. <coughs> so, yan ang ating sample problem number 4. Malinaw ba ang problem number 4, Ana, kung paano natin na-calculate ang distance between two points natin? Malinaw po, sir. Okay, let's proceed now to our sample problem number 5. Find the slope of the line passing through the following points. Ito rin yung graph natin kanina. Actually, kung napansin mo, yung graph natin kanina... Yung graph natin kanina is upward to the right. Tama? So definitely dapat dito makakuha tayo ng upward to the right na slope ng line natin. Kailangan value ang positive. Okay, ulitin ko anak, no? Kanina, nakagraph yan sa sketch of the graph natin. Ang nakita natin is upward to the right na line. Meaning, ang value ng slope must be positive. Now, if we're going to use the slope formula here, okay, anyway, ito muna yung ating mga given. For our first point, P sub 1, we have negative 3 and negative 2. X sub 1 is negative 3, Y sub 1 is negative 2. For our P sub 2 naman, or second point, we have 1 and 5 as our coordinate. X sub 2 is 1, Y sub 2 is 5. X sub 2 is 1, Y sub 2 is 5. Now, continuation. Ito yung ating slope formula. Direct substitution. 5 minus negative 2 all over 1 minus negative 3. Yan ang ating slope. Simplifying it, we have m is equals to 5 plus 2 all over 1 plus 3. And then ang value ng ating slope is positive 7 over 4. Malinaw ba ang problem, anak, sa sample problem number 5? Opo, sir. Okay. Positive ang result. Meaning, ang line natin, kapag rinap natin, is upward to the right. Okay. Kahit pakita ko pa siya, yan. Okay. Negative 3 and negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2. So, this is the point. Or, negative 3 and negative 2. Then 1 and 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yung point. Kapag kinonect natin ang dalawang point na yan, upward to the right ang ating sketch of the graph ng ating straight line. So, ibig sabihin niyan, tama yung mga konsepto na ibinigay ko sa'yo kanina, anak. Okay, so let's proceed to sample problem number 6. 
convert the equation of the line as shown below to its general form. Kaya naman, ibinigay yung slope-intercept form ng equation of the line, kukonvert naman natin into its general form. So, kailangan magaling ka rin mag-convert from one form to another form. Kung ito yung equation of the line natin written in its slope-intercept form, kailangan natin i-convert yan into general form. But how do we do that? For our solution, from slope-intercept, tingnan natin ang mga denominators natin. Parehong form. Kung ano yung LCD ng ating mga denominator, siya ang magiging multiplier natin sa kabuuan ng equation. And that is actually 4. Since parehong 4 ang denominator ng dalawang fraction natin sa ating given equation, I am going to multiply the entire equation by 4. Ibig sabihin, yung y mo multiply ko ng 4. So magiging 4y. Ang 7 over 4, kapag multiply ko ng 4, makakancel ang 4. Ang 13 over 4, kapag multiply ko ng 4, makakancel din ng 4. In doing that, ang equation natin magiging 4y is equal to 7x plus 13. And then, transpose ko ang 4y sa right ng equation. 0 now is equal to 7x minus 4y plus 13. Finally, ito ang ating sagot. 7x minus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0 ay ang ating equation of the line in its general form. Yan ang ating sagot sa ating sample problem number 6. Is it very clear anak yung problem number 6? Yes, sir. Okay. So let us now proceed to our sample problem number 7. Convert the equation of the line as shown below to its general form. Ngayon naman sir, nakasulat. Sir, sir. Yes, anak. Naka-record po. Popost niyo po sa YouTube. Uh, ikaw, anak, popost ko ba o hindi? Gusto ko po kasi mapapanood ko po pa ulit-ulit. O ulit. sige, ipopost ko siya, anak. Oh, no problem with that. Okay, let's post sige, it post Okay. X over negative 13 over 7 plus Y over 13 over 4 is equal to 1. Naka-intercept form siya. Kasi given ng A, given ng B. So, anong gagawin ko ngayon? Co-convert ko siya sa general form. In order to do that, ito ang solusyon natin. Iti-twist ko muna or kukuhaanin ang reciprocal ng negative 13 over 7 at ang 13 over 4. Okay, and then i-multiply ko sa ating numerator na x and then numerator na y ang bawat naanap nating reciprocals. Take the reciprocal of its denominator and multiply to each numerator. And that's it. Naging 7x over negative 13 plus 4y over 13 is equal to 1. And then kung ano man yung denominator na nakikita natin sa ating uh, first term. Okay? Yun ang magsisilbing multiplier ko sa kabuuan. Imumultiply ko ang kabuuan ng equation ng negative 13. Okay? Kapag... Ito, multiply ko ng negative 13, cancel both sides ang negative 13. Cancel ang denominator at ang numerator na negative 13. Kapag multiply ko, not both sides, ano? Okay. Kapag multiply ko ang 7 over negative 13 ng negative 13, cancel ang negative 13. Kapag naman multiply ko ang 4 over 13 ng negative 13, cancel ang parang 13 and then positive times negative is negative. And then ang 1, kapag multiply ko ng negative 13, magiging negative 13 na ang nasa right-hand side ng equation. And this is it. 7x minus 4y is equal to negative 13. Transpose ko ang negative 13 sa left. And this is now our equation of the line in its general form. Okay? And that's the end of our lesson regarding about straight line. I gave you seven problems that you can study and then reach. And then, ito yung ngayong mga activity na sasagutin or assignment na kakailanganin ko Friday morning. Problem number one, find the equation of the line passing through the following points in its general form, given ang point one and point two. Problem number two, find the slope of the line passing through the following points, given ang point one and then point two. 
Problem number 3, find the distance between two points given ang point 1 at ang point 2. Problem number 4, find the equation of the line passing through the following points in its slope intercept form. Given ang point 1, given din ang point 2. So, nakaapat na problem na. Ito yung panglima. Find the x-intercept and y-intercept of the line passing through the following points. We have point 1 and point 2. Problem number 6. Find the equation of the line passing through the following points in its general form. We have point 1 and point 2. And then problem number 7. Find the slope of the line passing through the following points. Again, we have point 1 and point 2. Thank you and God bless. That's the end of our lesson in our session for today.